It's my great pleasure to, um, our great pleasure to have Dr. Tem Pu here to give us a presentation on his insights in years of the R and industry R&D research in quite a few different companies and in particular his uh, current job as a R&D director of Unosona. Um, Dr. Tem Pu um, is a graduate from Nanjing University, China and the University of New South Wales. And uh, Phono Solar is a tier one company produced a very high quality modules um, product in China. And today's topic will be some uh, about nano texturing, perk, uh, metal run through, yeah. and uh, power plant design. So no matter what you, whatever you research, there is always an interesting topic for you. So looking forward to your talk okay. today. Okay, thanks, Dr. Ouyang. <coughs> so, uh, let's start. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, uh, thanks for your coming to my presentation. And uh, first, I have to uh, appreciate School of Photovoltaic gave me this chance to uh, uh, share my uh, research and uh, some of my ideas with you. And also, I, I could uh, uh, introduce my uh, company to you, too. <laughs> um, actually, uh, six years ago, I was uh, also study here. And uh, I still remember a lot of nice guys here. And uh, because of their uh, persistent effort, uh, in in past six years, a lot of exciting, uh, I mean, uh, research result have already been uh, successfully transferred to the mass production line. So uh, I, I, I hope I could also be such a cool guys. And uh, uh, so my topic today might be uh, uh, not so many academic things. So most of them, uh, the content uh, is about the, some industrialization related things. Uh, hope everyone enjoy my uh, talk. Um, OK, let's start. Here's my topic. Topic is uh, research and development of advanced photovoltaic uh, technologies at PhotoSolar. Um, we do some some jobs on black silicon MWT, and some research about uh, I mean here's uh, hydrojunction solar cells. So there's totally three parts here, and uh, firstly uh, I have to introduce my company <laughs> because it's like a, you know to uh, do some. Uh, advertisement and also uh, the part part two maybe the most important part some technical things about the RDA progress in in, uh, in our company. Mm, part three, uh, re you can you know, take a rest like some uh, relax. We I will <laughs> show some uh, photograph about our uh, PV plant, some case case study. Okay, um, let's go to the part one. So uh, a little bit complex because uh, you know you see three, three uh, several company names on, on that. So I will uh, one by one introduce uh, the Cinemac. Actually, it's our uh, mother company. Uh, uh, it's it's like our mother company's mother company. <laughs> it's a very big big company in China, and uh, Sumac Group is uh, actually is is our uh, the Sumac Energy Holdings mother company. And the Cinemac New Energy Research Institute is uh, actually uh, it's uh, R and D center of uh, Cinemac Energy. So uh, details he is here about Cinemac. Uh, it's uh, we call it in China it's an A class central state owned enterprise, which is a Fortune Global 500 enterprise. So for for our core business include uh, R and D and manufacturing, also uh, some project constructing. And trade and service, financing and investment. Uh, we 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 are actually a, a very open international cooperation. We have over 180 uh, overseas branches all over the world. Uh, so for for the revenue business is around 35.1 uh, billion US US dollars. It's pretty huge, and um, over uh, 120 thousand employees all over the world. So for Sumac, actually, it's uh, 
the mother company of Sumac Energy. It's uh, also a big, 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 big guy in, in, in China. And every year around uh, 5.7 billion US dollars. Yeah. Uh, over 10,000 employees. And it's a key member of Sinomac, uh, also a central <coughs> government owned uh, enterprise in Jiangsu province. So our uh, base is in Nanjing. Uh, our, our company is established in 1978, uh, even earlier than our uh, big mother company. And uh, actually, we start the business from uh, some tradings. We do, uh, at the very beginning, we do some importing and exporting uh, as our major business. But uh, recent years, we just shift to some manufacturing and R&D uh, things. Also, we do some investment and development. So here's um, for Sumac all over the world. The, the I mean the the branch companies all over the world. In in Europe, we we got Sweden, UK, and Germany. Also uh, South American and uh, Central America. Uh, even in, in in Africa, we we also have some branch branches. Australia, we we have a branch company in Australia doing some. Uh, uh, module uh, tradings and also some we, we share some uh, uh, inverter storage here in, in Australia. Yeah. Okay. Actually, for for Sumac, we have a lot of business uh, directions. We we doing uh, solar energy, and uh, we have our own marine engineering company and uh, a complex sets of engineering power generation equipment. We also do. Uh, there is a very big company for uh, textile, so some you know all. There is a very famous brand called I, I, I forgot the, the the name. It's for the kids kids suit. It's very famous. I think it's uh, the second biggest one in the world. Yeah. Also, we do some wind energies, uh, mechanical electronics, power tools, uh, also geothermal energy. So all the energy related. Uh, since it belongs to uh, Sumac Energy. It's the business of Sumac Energy. So for Sumac Energy, actually, uh, it's a uh, leading global provider of clean energy solutions, uh, committed to customer center solutions for energy supply. Which, uh, for actually, we started the uh, new energy business from 2000, uh, 2004. So uh, from, from 2004 to, to now, we have already uh, achieved uh, 3.5 gigawatts. I mean, global shipment for for uh, solar panels. Also, uh, we we have already finished uh, around the 1.5 gigawatts uh, PV plant in in China, Chinese uh, uh, domestic uh, pro uh, market. And also, we uh, for for our because the power plant is all belong to. By, by, by ourselves, we, we have our own uh, maintenance and uh, operation companies to doing the management of the, of the power plant. So we, we, we actually have uh, around the 3.5 billion kilowatts hours per year uh, of the I mean, uh, PV generated uh, electricity, which means we, uh, we have the reduction of the standard costs around uh, 3.9 million tons per year. So Sumac Energy, in order to provide an efficient and a, a economically substantial solution, we use this extensive and uh, innovative supply chain strategy, principle, and uh, technologies. So I will uh, introduce more uh, details about the following things. So the last one, uh, we, we, we nearly finished the introduction. So for, for the Sinomac New Energy Research, Institute actually it's the R and D center of uh, Sumac Energy. Actually, we, we do a lot of cooperation with one very famous universities and some uh, Chinese Chinese research institute. Also, uh, the uh, Overseas Institute. Uh, I, I think this 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 is this our our. Uh, I mean, we we hope we could create a closed loop compatibility system for reducing the cost per kilowatt hour of PV generated power. That is our, uh, you know, our target to, to do any RD activities. So, OK, let's go to uh, 
there's some some uh, distribution of our R and D center and also our factories. Uh, actually, we got uh, one gigawatt sales in Xuzhou in Jiangsu province, and also we got two module factories with 800 megawatt in Nanjing and in Yancheng. So, uh, Dr. Ouyang has already uh, mentioned this one. We we actually our production is uh, tier one from Bloomberg, uh, ranked uh, number one. So. Uh, we uh, here's uh, some some of view of our factory and uh, module factory and the uh, cell factory. Oh, here I, I have to mention uh, you can see uh, is a logo called Phono Solar. So some someone have to be confused why why sometimes we call it Phono Solar, sometimes call it <laughs> Sumac Energy. Actually, it's uh, because we we just uh, do some uh, you know reconstruction for our company. So we 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 were. In future, we will change our name from name from Phono Solar to Sumac Energy, but currently it's uh, same uh, Phono Solar equal to uh, Sumac Energy. It's uh, one company. Uh, okay, let's go to this one. Have to be uh, more interest. So some R and D progress. So uh, firstly, I will introduce some strategy and uh, technology roadmap about our our R and D center, um, and details some details with. In, in the f following items, f for example, nano texturing, someone called it black silicon, also metal web through technology and uh, uh, HAT cells. Also, we uh, we we do some research on uh, they call it perk perk plus. It's like some bifacial perk technology. Also, we do some PV system for castings. Okay, so this one a little bit uh, complex. So I just. Uh, Divided the uh, because our major business is doing uh, silicon-based solar cell and module. So I just uh, hear all, all the things is talk about the uh, silicon-based uh, technology. I just uh, divided the uh, classical silicon-based solar cell process to six single simple single steps. One is the first first step is wafering and uh, then texturing and diffusion, then uh, doing some edge isolation and clean. Uh, and then, then passivation, which is uh, everyone knows uh, silicon nitride coating, and then firing and uh, printing. So, and also I just uh, divided the uh, solar cell to uh, three parts: the front part, middle part, and the uh, rear part. Mm, the front part it has some uh, structures for uh, metal con metal con contacting, and also uh, some uh, have to be uh, got. Uh, I mean, texturing structure, uh, and the middle part is the emitter. It's very important. It's like heart of the solar cell, and the rear part is the uh, backside. Uh, I mean, um, contact and even some some uh, passivation layers. So I I, I also uh, I mean here here in the in this table, uh, all of this is is some uh, some uh, you know, we call it high. Advanced solar cell technologies, and I just uh, make them with different colors. So the colors means you know the red one means I think it's steering RD stage technical or, or some fa fails technicals, some future technicals, and the green ones means have already proved prove, be proved. Also, uh, it's cost effective and uh, lots of uh, mass production data, uh, highly material and. Uh, um, tools dependent. So in, in the middle, these two, it's like step by step. So the green ones is uh, most uh, easier to uh, to uh, mass for. Uh, I mean, industrialized for for mass production. Um, so for the wafering, we can use uh, we call it. Sorry, it's, it have to be DWS a, a little bit mystic. So which is called a diamond wire saw wafer. So it it could be uh, especially for multi, it could be achieve a very high uh, cost down around uh, um, five, uh, 0 0.5 Chinese uh, RMB per wafer. So it's a pretty huge range. Um, and also we do some nano texturing. Nano texturing means uh, actually I, I will introduce details in the following slides. Uh, some some guys call it black silicon. Uh, or, or, or it's just like some because of for the 
traditional acid texturing on the uh, multi wafers is is uh, we call it the micron grade signs of the the structure. We, if we just uh, um, reduce the size of the, the structure, we can uh, absorb more light for, for the cell. The red ones, uh, the selective emitter and eye implantation and bifacial diffusions, we, I think, in my opinion, is a, a little bit fire for, for a, a little bit fire for, for, for uh, you know, mass production because some, you know, for mass production, not only for the high efficiency because of you have to consider the cost of the, the pr uh, production, the final, I mean, um, you have to be cost effective. So uh, especially for uh, eye implantation, it's too expensive. Even it's have already been widely used in semiconductor, but still, you know, for, for uh, phono, a, li a little, a little uh, bit different compared to semiconductor. So for the throughput, also the, the, you know, the yield is a problem. Uh, the rare side polishing and the pure material, which means some high, uh, you know, high quality wafers, uh, silicon wafers, or, or even use, use N-type wafers, N-type wafer, a uh, lot of strength, uh, lower temporary coefficient, also lower uh, uh, a defect. Uh, but still, you know, not very, um, only only few players in, in PV, they, they just shift to end type, but most of them, most of us still uh, struggling, you know, uh, one, we, we have, we, we could change P type to end type because, you know, um, for wafer, the manufacturer of the wafer, they, they still got a very high expense, uh, price for, for N-type compared to P-type. For this purple one, which is, uh, I, I, I change the uh, color of PERC and MWT to, perk, uh, to purple, because I think um, for the PERC and M MWT is still uh, more cost compared to normal uh, advanced uh, technology because um, because I, I talked with you know some trainer guys and uh, even some 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 Canadian guys they, they told me uh, for perk still have some uh, you know mass pr production issues because they they the ear even they, they you know have some um, they also the distribution of the the efficiency of the cells is not very tightened uh, also has some ear problems uh, so um, I think we we will not very quickly to, to move to, to PERC. Uh, even for MWT, both of them is, I think is higher efficiency gain. That's, that's no problem. But the cost uh, of ownership is still improving. So we, we have to be very careful to, to do the, uh, you know, um, like some, some retrofit or, or some change to different process. So here's uh, our roadmap. For, for our companies, you can see we, we just uh, just di divided to to uh, five ways. The green one is uh, for multi. So I think it's it's most easy easily to to achieve. So we will base uh, here's the title is technology roadmap based on silicon nano inverted pyramid text surface. So all all our technology we are based on this this one. So for multi, we have already achieved uh, in the beginning of this year. We already achieved around 19 percent um, efficiency, uh, only only integrated with black silicon. No other advanced technology. Future in the middle of this year, we were doing some integration with MWT. So hope, hopefully, we we might achieve 19.4 uh, uh, in the middle of this year. And future, we we might doing some you know um, combination with uh, Perk. MWT and uh, black silicon. So finally, our target is in the beginning of next year. We our panel six, sixty uh, piece of uh, sales panel could achieve uh, over three hundred uh, watts per module. So the blue ones is uh, for uh, mono mono roadmap. So I I think mono is still uh, the perk is the most. Uh, I mean, the most 
most uh, near nearest one to the uh, mass production. So for for Mono, we will go to the Perk Perkway. So may, but not with uh, Mailbox uh, PCVD. We might go to the ARD. Yeah, from uh, some guy maybe knows Levitech. They doing you know from from uh, Netherlands. They they use some you know like some floating wafers in the ARD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have already uh, do some demo, do do some demonstration with them, and got a relatively good result. Yeah. For the red ones, we uh, we think, you know, we have to some some pre uh, preparation for for the future technology. So that is N-type. Actually, we have already did some research for N-type HIT. I will show some result in my following slides. Also, we will. Try some uh, do some research about the bifacial, uh, normal entire bifacial. It's like uh, double sided diffusion, uh, uh, and uh, with the front side with uh, boron and back side with uh, phosphorus. Yeah. So our target is for uh, entire bifacial. We were uh, doing that with double print and selective emitter and also nano texturing. So hopefully, hopefully achieve. Uh, over 20.5 efficiency in the end of next year. So uh, someone have to see uh, it's not very high because, but actually if you, you, you're doing some mass production, you will find it's not very, you know, um, if you produce hundreds and thousands and wafers, the average efficiency is not like you, what you think. It's, it's really, really uh, hard, so we, we will not be uh, so aggressive for, for the uh, you know for the target, uh, but for HIT we will uh, we hope we could achieve uh, over 24. In, uh, all of this result is based on mass production. And for the the yellow one, this one is for our uh, approach to uh, reduce the CTM because CTM is very important. You know we we actually we uh, we have our own. A module factory. We did a lot of uh, you know um, module fabrication. We found uh, some high efficiency solar cells. If you, if you fabricate to to modules, you lost a lot of the the the, the, the I mean efficiency. Even uh, for HIT, even we sometimes we we got a result over uh, seven to eight percent. It's it's crazy it, because. The CTM also means the cost of your 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 modules. So we were doing some uh, approach like some uh, carting wafers. It's uh, was very popular, and and the beginning of this year in Japan, a lot of vendors they, they just show their uh, examples of cut carted wafer module. Also some you know we will go to MWT, MWT uh, you can also uh, reduce the series resistance. Uh, that is very good for a high current sales. Yeah. Also, MWT uh, because it used some uh, copper back sheet with 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 a large area of copper, so that is heat and conductive is much higher than normal back sheet. So you know, in the rear environment, it it could be a, a much lower temperature during its its you know its uh, power generating working. Okay, I will uh, talk about the details about uh, uh, the three projects. The first one is nano texturing. Uh, I think everyone here knows uh, you, there is four approach to uh, achieve uh, different structures and, and different nano structures. Uh, someone use uh, laser etching. Actually, you know, laser etching is very expensive. And uh, low throughput if you want to uh, have a, such a you know uh, very small structure on the surface. Also, electronic uh, this one electrochemical etching is is pretty complex process, so and not uh, very good for mass production. So the third one we call it metal assistant chemical etching. That is which way we uh, my companies go to this way. Because you know, wet bench is uh, widely used in semiconductor and uh, uh, photovoltaic. So, the cost uh, effect. Uh, this one, the cost is more 
the most less for the cost and also have a relatively uh, you know, a uniformity surface and also uh, for the lifetime of the, of the solution is relatively long. So uh, we call it uh, uh, most effective ways to, to achieve the uh, uh, nanostructure surface on, on the wafer. Another one is a lot of uh, career companies, they, they actually they do a lot of RD about RE, uh, reactive ion etching. This one also a lot uh, for a long time uh, used in semiconductor, but uh, still have some uh, cost problems. Also, the uh, within wafer uniformity is, very, is not very good. So this, this one is just uh, ignore it. It's some, you know, <laughs> schematic of, of the uh, different uh, approach. So, OK, I will uh, introduce some, something about the metal as assistant chemical etching. So uh, easily to see is use some metal. Actually, uh, we can divide the process to five steps. First is metal deposition. Uh, it's, it's like some form some metal mask on the wafer, surf, wafer surface. It's uh, around uh, 5 to 10, uh, 5 to 50 nano, nanometer size of uh, uh, metal on the wafer surface. And then use some uh, special um, solution. Uh, normally we use uh, some acid solution to do the etching. Uh, after the etching, there will be formed some, uh, you know, some like this, this nano wires surface, and then we doing metal removal because metal is, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's a con contamination for for the solar cells. So we have to clean them, and then re reconstruction because the, this structure is not very good because the. Although it have a, it could be absorb a lot of light, but you know such structure a lot of surface recombinations not very good. So you have to uh, reconstruction is to such structures. You have just to make it more smooth of the surface. Uh, the last step is also clean because after this reconstruction, you have also to uh, to clean the. I mean, they, they, they still have some metal on the surface. You have to do a next step of clean. And then we will form such a, such a structure. This, this result is uh, around the, because we, we started this pro program uh, about three, three to four years ago. So this, this result is uh, from, uh, I remember it's 2013. So in, in that time, it's, uh, the uh, baseline of the multi is around uh, 17, only 17.6. So we, we can see we have already achieved uh, about 0 0.3 efficient gain from, from such structures. Uh, this is a Q quantum efficiency. You can see uh, the most gain is from the short wavelength light. So that is why after we uh, Doing the uh, module fabrication, we will lost a lot of lot of the the gain from from the cell. So, uh, but currently we we do some you know we use some new material. It's like some more transparent EV and uh, glasses. So, some of this part we have already uh, you know got from from the module. Here's the uh, views of our solar cells. You can see. It's even we call it black silicon, actually it's not black, it's uh, dark blue, like, like this. Mm. But, uh, you know, this is our, actually our first generation of the uh, black silicon solar cells. So after, about in 2005, we are uh, doing some, uh, you know, progress on the, uh, another structures. We, uh, you can see here this one and this one. We 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 find a new solution. We we call it a nanostructure rebuilding solution. You have some addition, ad, uh, additive and some some. It's an acid system. We we doing rebuild of the nanostructure. We can achieve such you know 
It's very regular inverted pyramid nano size, around 500 nanometer. It works on multi and mono, both of them. So it, I think this one uh, is very, very good, you know, uh, light trapping structure. So when we use these structures, another problem is coming because last year a lot of uh, wafer vendors they just uh, um, produce uh, this this kind of wafers called diamond wire sort wafers. It's significant cost down, but there is a problem because of you know for traditional acid texturing, it have because of the there's some. Uh, defect on the surface of after the slurry uh, cutting with it. So uh, the acid texturing have to be, uh, you know, react at the defect. If there's no defect, there's no, it, it will very hard to, to form a texturing structure on the, on the wafer surface. So for the diamond wire saw wafer, it have these problems. You can see from A to B, there's nearly no changes after acid texture. But for, for slurry wine um, salt wafer, it forms a very beautiful uh, texturing surface. And uh, also from re reflectance, you can see um, for slurry wire salt wafer, and the uh, reflectance reduced significantly after, I mean, after acid texturing, but for, for uh, Diamond wire or wafer, the uh, average uh, reflectance after acid texturing is around uh, 30. It's, it's, it's too high because our target is have to be around 20. It's very good. So we have to find a solution for this, this kind of wafer because it's, we can see, we can gain, uh, earn money from, from the, you know, the cost down and we, we can save money from that, but we can't do the texturing. It's, it's, it's really, uh, you know, uh, so uh, we, we just use our black silicon technology on, on this kind of wafer. You can see uh, here is some uh, SEM about the uh, I mean surface S SEM figures of diamond saw wafer with different NSR treatment time. The last one, you can, you can see it's very uh, beautiful, regular uh, inverted pyramid on the multi, multi wafers. So actually, we solve these problems. Uh, uh, in our, uh, we have one one mass produ production lines in, in our uh, cell manufacture uh, cell factory, which is use this technology to uh, mass production the multi diamond saw wafers. Here's some uh, views of our cells. Uh, here's a story I have to see. Uh, in the left one is uh, this one is normal uh, multi cells. The middle one, so we use uh, this, this kind of, we call it inverted pyramid. But it got the problems. Some, some customers, they don't like these patterns. They don't like, you know, <laughs> they, don't, they think it's not very beautiful on the rooftop. So they want this kind of, kind of one. But for the inverted pyramid, because uh, for the multi, it's a lot a different kind of, a different direction of the crystal. So you have to got suffer this, this this pattern. So we just change the, uh, we, we do research another kind of solution to change the structure to this kind of structures. This, this is a very uh, high concentration acid solution. We just, uh, it's like, you can see it's not uh, totally disappeared uh, of the crystal pattern, but already, you know, the uniformity is very good good view. Even for the panel, after, after panel fabrication, you can see it's, it's uh, nearly like uh, it's the mono, mono modules. Yeah, Very good views, especially for Japanese people they like that. <laughs> they don't care about the uh, output, but they like the, the beautiful <laughs> view. <laughs> no. Okay, that is our, you know, like a roadmap for the black silicon. We just change the uh, acid uh, warm like the the this is micro size of the texturing structure to uh, to some uh, this is in in regular nano wise 
uh, but the efficiency for this structure is very low, I have already told. And this to go to a nano holes and the inverted pyramid, the finally it's like, we call it football-like structures. So for, for our uh, Sumex nanotext uh, solar cells, we got several uh, advantages. Like the cell cost down is uh, about 5%, and it's compatible with uh, diamond wire or wafer, also uh, compatible with other high efficiency technologies. It could be used uh, with PERC, com combined with PERC, yeah. Especially on Marty, we can, if we, if we, uh, uh, I have to say, if UNSW could solve the, uh, you know, air ID of, of Marty Perk, yeah, it will be a very good, good way to go, to go. For the module, because of the cell, we, uh, we, we have uh, about 4% cost down. For the system, the cost down is around 3%. The, this table is uh, the cost of ownership for, for our black silicon technologies. So you can see the total cost. This one is acid text, this one nanotext. So the total, total cost of the nanotext includes the chemical and tool consumption labor cost is around only 0.8 USD cents, okay. Cents per, per, per watt. So around 0.1 per, sorry, uh, 0.1 USD dollars. Per wafer. Okay, because of time, I will uh, a little bit fast. Uh, that is, here's some cost of saving from the wafer. So uh, finally, we got the result. You can, s uh, the conclusion is we can save money, a lot of money. Okay, here's some, um, we're doing some testing for, for our uh, black silicon modules on our, in our. Uh, uh, PV plant. This one is on, on our rooftop of our office. We got, you, you can see, we got around 3% uh, extra uh, el electricity generation from uh, the same output modules. Uh, also, this one is uh, the right one is a big plant. It's around uh, 9 megawatt plant in Yangzhou, in, in Jiangsu province. The conclusion is the same, over uh, 3.5 percent from black silicon modules because of, you know, um, the nanostructure is, is uh, e easily to uh, absorb the very small angle of in indication, in duration. Here's our uh, tools view, we got fully automated. This is our first generation and sec second generation have already paid, maybe uh, moving in middle of this year. Our design target is over 5,000 5, uh, wafers per, per hour, and uh, the investment is only uh, lower than six, six, uh, 600,000 US dollars. It's actually, it's very cheap. And um, for the uh, CTM, it's uh, around 1%, uh, re relatively similar with the normal multi. Mm, and efficiency gain around uh, 0 0.4. Also, it's uh, uh, com compatible for, for slurry and di diamond saw wafer. Also, Marty and Mono is both is, could use this process to doing the um, texturing. Okay, this one is, we, we call it MWT, metal web through, which is uh, simply to see it's like use some lasers to drilling holes on the surface of the wafer and induce uh, front metal contact, especially the bus bar to the back side. So uh, increase the, the front side uh, uh, light uh, absor uh, absorption. Also uh, reduce the usage of the silver paste. Um, so we were doing a cooperation with Sunport, which is a very famous uh, Chinese company. They're doing MW for a very long time. They will produce a module for us. We will, and uh, our Cell factory, we are, we are produce uh, MW cells to them. Uh, and in, in next step, we will uh, quickly uh, integrate the black silicon and also the MWT together. And our target is, uh, you see, because we are doing process integration with nano texturing multi-cells, the average efficiency might achieve over 19.5. So 
if we use a little bit larger wafers because we don't use welding belt, so we, we could make the wafer a little bit larger. So we could achieve, we might achieve, only black silicon with MWT could achieve 6P uh, modules over 300, which is really a good uh, result. Here's some uh, module test result. Yeah. I, uh, all of this is a very normal test, uh, DHTC, no problems. And for this one, it's like I have already told you guys because of the back sheet with some corpus, so the uh, temperature of the, the working temperature of the MWT module is uh, lower, uh, about five degrees lower compared to normal module. So you can got another 3% gain. So plus the uh, black silicon 3%, so we could got over 6% electricity, uh, electricity generating gain from uh, black silicon MWT modules. Here's some, uh, here's the process of the MWT cells. Actually, it's only uh, two extra steps. At uh, we first starting, we're doing laser drilling hole. And uh, then there's a step after uh, diffusion because we have to uh, move the uh, diffusion region of the holes. Then, uh, actually here we use some etching paste uh, to print into the holes and then go to the ove with some, some high temperature to, to remove the, the some, uh, like doing some edge isolation. So actually I, I have to uh, introduce because we use, uh, why we use such a big end up hose because it's better for paste filling, which is necessary for, for the junction removal step and, uh, and the uh, contact printing process. Here's our um, COP, I mean strategy partners module factory in, uh, in Xuzhou city, it's already over 500 gigawatt. Oh, sorry, it's a mistake, megawatt. Sorry, 500 gigawatts, too huge, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> okay, here's some uh, research uh, result about HIT, HAT. So we, uh, so all this is just to ignore. It's like some, some, you know, everyone knows advantage of HAT. So I have to, uh, see is the uh, you can see from the rear efficiency uh, module efficient efficiency HIT is really very very high compared to normal P type even compared to N type bifacial. Uh, this is our uh, actually this line is in uh, Guodian Solar. Uh, last year we do some cooperation with them. We uh, actually we produced over sixty thousand HIT cells in, in this. Uh, production line because they want want us to invest to them. They they already they are dying last year. You know they, they want some you know blood from us. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know after our uh, evaluation, it's really you know a lot of things not very easy. Um, first problems the CTM is is quite high because uh, we we think. One problem is we use they use some low temperature silver paste. Uh, if you use some you know high temperature um, sorting process, it will have some damage to the to the junction of the HIT. So um, this one m might be one problems. Uh, another one is uh, LID is not like we think. We think N type is is better for HIT. It will be only only a few, very, very small LID, but this, this result is not very good. Another problem is that you can see this picture, some crack here, a lot of crack here uh, for the whole module because, you know, for one problem is, is this wafer is very thin. After the uh, texturing of the, the HIT process, a lot of, uh, you know, um, the, the weight, weight loss is, is quite high compared to p-type process. Also a problem is uh, the use, I have already said, they use a uh, uh, low temperature paste. Uh, if, if you, you, you just uh, uh, so wetting, there's a wetting bed, if the temperature change very quickly, the wetting bed, the strengths have some different, uh, we call it mismatch compared to such paste. 
so they will have some some crack issues. That is why we 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 have to do a lot of jobs to to do some uh, optimization for HIT. So here's uh, we do some testing side testing to uh, to prove the uh, bifacial you know the uh, electricity generating gain from bifacial structures. Uh, I will show directly the result. So uh, white paint or white stone might be a very good solution for, for the surface treatment to, to increase the uh, reflections from the, you know, from the light. And also the, uh, the stranger thing is we, we did not get uh, so much gains as uh, some, some, you know, some institutions, they said is at least uh, over 30% of gain, but we didn't find that. Most gain is only over 15%. So we, we, this system is still working. We will collect the data, more data to, to see what actually happened. Mm, another thing is, I, I said we, so we do some cooperation with uh, ECN. We, we, we do some PERC, PERC Plus research. It's like some bifacial structure of the PERC. They do not uh, coat the silicon nitride at the backside, only very thin, thin layer of uh, al aluminum oxide, only six nanometers. And then use some annealing process, and then directly print the uh, aluminum, aluminum uh, fingers on the backside and go to the fine machine. So uh, it could be, uh, you know, con form the contact at the backside. But uh, we, we just test the, the quantum efficiency of the cell. It seems uh, actually it's backside, uh, the bifacial rate only about 60%. Uh, different, uh, uh, it doesn't like the n-type bifacial. N-type bifacial rate is quite higher, even over 8%, uh, 80%, but this for p-type only uh, 6%. Here's the JSC, you can see. Uh, the back side is quite lower compared to front side. Okay, here's uh, just uh, some, you know, we, we also doing some uh, forecasting for the our, because we have our own PV plant. We have to, to f forecast the, the, what might, uh, the, the real p future performance of the plant. So we, we use some uh, satellite data from uh, SolarGS and also we do some PV system simulation and do some uh, system design optimization. Uh, for example, angles, uh, DCAC, and different losses, and give the final forecasting of system. Uh, here, the interest problem is uh, everyone, every uh, vendor, they, they sell satellite data. They say zero, zero data is very accurate. But compared to our, uh, I mean, we, we actually, we installed uh, several, um, <coughs> some high accurate solar radiation uh, measures on, on, uh, in our uh, PV plant. We found, uh, you know, some, you can see some, some, some days, especially um, there is any uh, microclimate changes there. A lot of uh, different compared to real data to the satellite data. So we, so we, we set a lot of, uh, you know, uh, accurate solar radiation measures in different place, even in, in the northwest of China and the, the most uh, east of China, the north of China. We want to, to fix the, the, the data from the different vendors and uh, we, we, we want to do a more accurate forecasting for our uh, plant. Okay, uh, let's relax. Uh, relax, have some relax. So uh, this is our uh, marketing strategy. We have three uh, ways to, 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 to develop the different kind of uh, PV plant. The first one is a distributed system on rooftop. It's very popular in China now because the the uh, the government also uh, you know they, they want most people to sh to move to these, these directions. Another one is uh, some abandoned ground mounted uh, uh, solar cells like some seashore or coal mining uh, subsidence areas. Uh, the, the third one is uh, standalone systems in some remote place. The no uh, no grid connect. No, no, no grade there. You, you have to use a standalone system. Mm, this one is one of our famous uh, uh, power plant, which is uh, chi China's largest uh, tidal flat PV pl power plant. 
it's over uh, five megawatts uh, in uh, Yancheng, Yancheng in Jiangsu province. This one is also the biggest, uh, uh, the largest uh, distributed PV power plant in China, over 100 megawatts in Hefei. The, the whole uh, industry park, the rooftop covered with uh, our panels. So here's some uh, interesting things in this, the, the left ones in this plant, actually we do sheep farming there. We have a lot of sheep in this uh, PV plant. No, <laughs> we do not use people to, to remove the glass, but uh, grass. We just use sheep to <laughs> eat the grass, you know. <laughs> also, this one is a coal mining subsidence area. So, okay, this is the uh, other in, in different in, in overseas uh, market. We have a power plant in Germany, American, Australia, and Japan. You can see here some, some, we use some module to. to Write some, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all. Thank you. Uh, anyone got some questions, please? Yeah. Um, we can probably have time for one or two questions. Yeah. Please. Um, with all these different technologies you're working on, um, do you anticipate that? they will be a large part of your uh, production, or are they going to be a small part? You know what I mean? So, um, for example, the black silicon, would you expect that to become nearly all your production? Yep. For mass production, because uh, I have already said it's most uh, cost-effective for us, we have already proved it. So, uh, in the next year, and uh, in the end of this year, we have already uh, we might we got a target to shift uh, other our uh, half part of our cell uh, production to mass to all, all to the black silicon and next year maybe next half yeah so one gigawatt for black silicon yeah and the metal wrap through as well yep yep but metal wrap through we have to in, uh, you know it got some problem because we do some uh, cooperation with different companies we have to prove the, uh, the real, you know, real performance. So it might be have some times because for black silicon, we have already did three, over three years for black silicon, for, for metal web through. We just start, you know. So we have to some step by step to, to prove it, yeah. More questions? Okay, if not, we just stand for two questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you.